Hi guys, it's Sam and I am going to be doing a haul video. I am trying to film this after a long day, so please excuse the lack of makeup. I did try to spruce up a little bit, but I know I could look better, so we'll just leave it at that. I'm just going to pull things at random and let's get started. The first thing is this Kind Healthy Grains Oats and Honey Clusters with Toasted Coconut. I got this specifically to put to eat with my Greek yogurt. I've had Greek yogurt for breakfast pretty much for a while now and I am getting kind of bored of it so I wanted to spice it up. I've heard great things about this brand so I uh, can't wait to try this with my yogurt. I actually wanted to get that because I tried a, a granola and Greek yogurt a product from Aldi and I liked it so much that I wanted to try to recreate my own because I have a bunch of Greek yogurts by themselves but nothing with that granola on top. Okay, next are the Swiss Burrs Cotton Rounds. These are just my go-to cotton rounds. I like these. They don't break apart. They're a really great price and you'll always see them in my empties because I use them so many times. I use them for removing my nail polish, for uh, taking my eye makeup off, and they're just really good. They're a solid product for me and I always get them. Next is this hoodie from Under Armour and ta-da! It's not black. Now I like the ones that zip up instead of the ones that you pull, pull over your head. I don't know if that's because I like makeup and I wear makeup and I want I don't want to mess up my makeup, but I just that's what I prefer and I love this color. I think it's really fun and it's a hoodie, so I love that. Uh next are a bunch of shirts. I might have went a little bit crazy, but Aerisms came back at Uniqlo and if you've been following me at all, uh specifically my clothing hauls, I Get, you know, I buy things from Uniqlo all the time, especially their basics. And these are these came back for the warmer months. They are the Arism, I, I want to call them undershirts. So I have never tried this, and they went down in price as well. They were twelve, close to thirteen dollars. Now they're ten dollars. Uh, so I got two of the sleeveless. I've never tried the sleeveless before, and as you can tell, I'm wearing an Arism right now and this is not my preferred look but I didn't have an aerism uh, tank top that I could wear so I kind of I wore a sweater so it was okay uh, but I got a black and a nude of the sleeveless and then I picked up another nude of the one I'm wearing and then to finish my collection the white and the pink and I have all the colors they just give they just have basic colors I wish they kind of came out with more fun colors but I understand why they have the basics so I have blue black uh, another nude and they're just so comfortable to wear underneath your clothes because uh, if you're like me I sweat a lot and it's nice to know that that ha this shirt keeps me cool but also there's a barrier of protection so love these and would highly recommend next let's see uh, sorry, I have things all over the place. A few things from my sister. She got me this double ring, but it's the one, not the ones that go, you know, on the two fingers next to each other. It's just you wear it on the one finger, and it's beautiful. Specifically, this uh, ring, I just love the colors, and I just think it's gorgeous. It looks kind of vintage, and so pretty. So, I love that, and try to pull this off okay uh next is from forever 21 i wasn't sure where she got the ring from i was gonna say h&m but now i'm thinking forever 21 uh, she also got me this facial cleansing pad and i have tried this it's pretty cool it's uh so you put your finger through here and then you just rub your face and i've used it once and i really liked it i was surprised i wasn't expecting much but i did enjoy using this she went to the eye doctor. They gave her a uh, travel size contact lens solution. So she gave me one of them. That's nice to have for travel. Uh, here is the Suave Professionals Keratin Infusion Smoothing Conditioner. And I, you know, since I like to try new things uh, makeup-wise, beauty-wise, uh, beauty uh, 
hair, skincare, whatever, um, it's always nice to have uh, just a regular go-to product that I can switch off from. So this is one of those. Uh, and I have, I had shown before I got a swab. Oh, you know what? It's right here. So this is the Swap Professionals Deep Moisture Shampoo, and these are just going to be my go-to for to switch off um, when I'm trying something new. I hope that made sense because um, it's just nice to have a product to go to in between when you're trying new stuff uh, that you know you like. Uh, next is... Is it makeup stuff yet? I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, here it is. This is... An eye cream or eye serum, Sanri Organic Skin Food Baby Eyes Age Defying Eye Serum. That is a mouthful. So it looks like a dropper. And I have been enjoying incorporating into my skincare routine at night. Uh, mostly at night, I, um, I, I have been really bad about not putting on eye, eye creams or eye serums on my eyes for the longest time but I have been enjoying doing it and I've been doing it pretty much religiously for the past few months so um, I am running out of the one that I am using at the moment this is Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Eye and this is pretty thick so I'm hoping this one is a little bit thinner it's more liquidy that's for sure um, so I am trying also this new thing where I don't buy something unless I'm done with the product uh, or uh, it's really low. So this one has a few more days and I'll be done. And I like to put it here as well as like all around this area. I just feel like, why not? I can't hurt. So I do that as well. And then for makeup, I got this NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick in Pink Lust. I have tried wearing this a couple of times. It's not the most comfortable. It's pretty drying, but it doesn't set. So it's kind of like, are you a liquid lipstick or I'm not sure. So uh, this, I like the applicator. It actually makes it, because it's long, I feel like it's more pinpoint. Um, but this, oh my goodness. It's pretty my camera dulls out dulls out colors but what you see in the bottle is what you get it is that hot neon pink it almost looks like somebody painted your nail painted your lips uh, I mean this is what it is uh, I just I don't think this color you need to have like a really flawless foundation for you to even pull this off I feel like and Maybe because I tried it like when my face wasn't looking too hot, but that this is what you get. It's crazy. It's, I mean, in one way it's good because like you're getting what you pay for, but it is pretty. It's pretty bright. That's all I have to say. Uh, next is this Rimmel and Kate Moss. It's a highlight and contour, and they added a blush as well. And I was this is the one in golden bronze. This is a pleasantly nice product. They're all pretty much pigmented. I'm not in love with the highlight, but let me just... And it's kind of powdery, so just watch out for that. The blush specifically. Or the blush... The blush and the highlight. So that is the swatch. And this kind of reminds me of Nor Nors. Nars Orgasm. It's that peachy golden color. The... The contour is pretty pigmented and the highlight. Um, I am wearing the contour and the highlight. Uh, I didn't wear the blush. I'll show you what blush I'm wearing. But yeah, I kind of like this product and I can see myself bringing this with me on vacation. Like just because everything is there and the contour is matte. So that's nice. For the blushes here are some a couple of city color blushes they're the B mattes and I have been looking for these for there was a couple of several months ago where I was trying to find these and I found a bunch of other city color products that were great uh, but I couldn't find these and recently my five below picked them up and or had them in stock and um, they were kind of the packaging is not the best so I feel like um, there were slim pickings 
pickings at my five below the they were cracked but I was lucky that there was one hidden this is the one in blood orange and I love this color it's just this salmony coral color it's beautiful and they feel so nice so that is a swatch of that let me I feel like it, this would look good on all skin tones and then this one is the one in dragon fruit so this is a total barbie pink color and i don't love that one as much as i love this one but i am going to enjoy playing with those and then i believe what's left are the eye stuff and one more clothing item so i picked up three more of the ico me and my shadow eyeliners they're were just so nice and long lasting that I wanted to pick them up before they went away. I got these at Anthropology. Uh, so this one is Topaz. And this these three colors, I don't know if that's what I had in mind, but they would make a really great smoky eye. So this would be like the inner corner and the you know the one third of the lid or this part of the eye. And then I have taupe that taupe is gorgeous and then I have chocolate which chocolate was kind of broken so I have to be careful when I open it you see you, you live and you learn because I try to open this and it kept on popping out and these are pretty waterproof like you have to really rub once they set to get them out and then another new product where is it this is the L'Oreal color reach eyeshadow in violet beauty or violet beauty so these are i think they're pretty brand new i haven't seen these before and i try to get a color that you know wasn't a taupe or a brown or a black or you know one of my typical colors and this is amazing these are so pigmented they're they're creamy and powdery and buttery and look at this they just feel so nice I was really surprised I haven't had the best luck with L'Oreal eyeshadows I feel like the singles anyway um they're the couple of palettes they came out with were pretty nice but oh my goodness this color is gorgeous and there's like gold specks in there not I don't want to say glitter because it's pretty um I feel like finely milled the glitter but it is there and just look at that so pigmented i can't wait to play with that and then the last thing i want to share with you gotta clean this off because i don't want to ruin the thing i'm going to show you next they are a pair of bands and i have gotten these are called the skate high slim zip they had come out with the slimmer version for women of the vans because um i don't want to say they look mannish but they are um, I have I have a pair of Vans from J. Crew when they did a J. Crew collaboration, and I love those. I think they're awesome. They're very comfortable, but they are kind of should I use the word bulky? I don't know. They're not. They're just not feminine. When you see them, you're not like, oh, those are really feminine and girly. Uh, but these are what they are called. Just in case you need to know. And as soon as I saw these a couple months ago, I was. I was really attracted to them, but I wasn't sure if I wanted to get them. And then I just was like, you know what, let me go try them on. And I love them. I did have the size down, though, which was kind of a surprise because I have, you know, regular Vans, but these are slim. I don't know. Well, that doesn't make sense. If they're slim, you would think I would have to go bigger. But I had to go smaller, so I got a size 7, uh, just so that you guys know. And I, for some reason, I love these. They're gold on the inside. There's a gold zipper on the back, and I just, I don't know what it is. You guys are probably like this. They're black and white shoes. But I just think that they're so cool, and I can't wait to wear them. Tomorrow is black and white dress-up day. Uh, that's like, uh, they do that for the fifth grade, so they could go on trips and do events and things like that. Uh, but I like... These are perfect. I just got these right on time. So I am so excited to wear these. I think they are so cool. I'm thinking of getting another pair. They have one like in this blush color that looks gorgeous. And I don't know. I think they're really, really cool. And I haven't been excited about a pair of 
uh, shoes that were not like flats or boots or anything like that in a while. So I think Vans did a really great job creating a slim line of shoes that are a little bit more feminine. So that is my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please let me know what you've been up to. I know the weather has gotten nicer. I've been walking Ava a little bit more, a little bit longer. So that's good. And I'm doing okay. I'm, you know, I'm still adjusting to this new schedule of working and I'm so grateful so grateful to have a job but it's been an adjustment for me because I have a really hard time sleeping at night and um, I was speaking to someone and they were like it takes it took me at least five years to get used to waking up early and you know going to sleep early I feel like it's you know that FOMO fear of missing out um, that I go through sometimes and just my brain is always awake so I I'm still adjusting, but I'm doing really well, and I hope you guys are too. I will talk to you guys soon. Bye!